donkey. The Bible say in Psalm 65, verse 2, it says, Oh, that's Herod's prayer. Unto this shall all men come. We have come to God, the God that has called us, and he has not called us in vain. Just begin to thank him. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. You are God that answers prayer. We have come to thee, Lord God. We have not come to man, Lord God. We pray this moment, Lord God. Move in an extraordinary way, Lord God. Father God, meet us at the point of need. We thank you. We give you praise. Father God, we thank you. For you are going to do something wonderful. Thank you, my verse. Lord God, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. This is the... Victory hour. Say to your neighbor, victory hour. Say, I will not come here in vain. God will give me victory. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. In Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. And I will give you what? Rest. God will give us rest in the mighty name of Jesus. But I want to say, there will be no rest without victory. We receive rest when we have victory. So at this point, we want to pray for victory. Victory in every area of our life. We want to pray for victory spiritually. We want to pray for victory physically in the mighty name of Jesus. So we want to ask God to give us victory. That everything that we do, we experience victory. So that we experience rest. We experience the love of God. The peace of God. The joy of God like never before. And that will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So this afternoon, let us begin to pray. So my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, give me victory in every area of my life. Give me victory in every area of my life. Give me victory. Let us pray. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, give me victory in every area of my life. Give me victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for victory in every area of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for all round victory. Say give me victory in every area of my life. Give me victory Lord. Oh, give me all round victory in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my maker, in the name of Jesus. Give me victory in every area of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Say, my father and my father, in the name of Jesus, give me victory. Physically, give me victory. Spiritually, give me victory. Let us pray. My father, my maker, in the name of Jesus, give me victory. Spiritually, give me victory. Physically, give me victory. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, give me victory. Give me all round victory. Academically, give me victory. In my career, Give me victory. In my marriage, give me victory. In my work with you, give me victory. In the place of prayer, give me victory. Let us pray that every area of our life, God will give us victory. In my head, give me victory. In my body functioning, give me victory. Give me sound head in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me victory, Lord God, in the place of uh, uh, prayer. In my ministry, give me victory. Oh, give me, Lord God, victory, Lord God, in my work with you. Give me victory. In my marriage, give me victory. Concerning my children, give me victory. In my marriage, give me victory. In my academics, give me victory. In every area of my life, give me victory. In the name of Jesus, in my business, give me victory. Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, this afternoon, give me victory. As I've come here, I will not go be the same way that I came. Father God, I've come to meet with you. you the, your word say, all oh, that that uh, uh, hear us prayer, unto you shall all men come. I have come to you, Lord God. I will not go back empty handed. Give me victory. I, at this prayer, Lord God, prayer altar. At this prayer mountain, I have come today. Give me victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Isaiah 65, 20, 
24. He said, before you call, I answer. Why I am speaking, I hear you. Before we left our home, God has started working on our case. As we are praying, he is answering. Let us pray. Say, call my father as I have come today, Lord God. Hear me as I pray. Answer my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. As I have come, Lord God, answer my prayer. Before I call, Lord God, answer me. Why I'm speaking, answer me. Do more than I ask for. Exceed my expectation. Let us pray. My father, my maker, I has come before you. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, do more than ask for. Exceed my expectation. Exceed my expectation. Give me victory. As I come to this prayer altar, give me victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, do more than ask for. Exceed my expectation. Exceed my expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because your word say in Philippians 3.20 that you will be able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what I even think of, imagine. God exceed my expectation as I have come today, Lord God. Do more than I ask for in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me don't leave this prayer at altar empty and then answer me, Lord God. Answer my prayer before I call. Answer me while speaking. Answer me in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all around victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We have to pray. Say victory like never before. Lord, give it to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Because in 1 Corinthians 2 9, it says, Eyes have not seen, nor have ear heard, nor has it entered into the heart of men what God is about to do for those who love him. Father God, do something great, mighty in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. That expect that exceed the expectation of man in the mighty name of Jesus. That victory that will make history in my life, in the life of my family, in the life of this church. Do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father God, that victory that is beyond human expectation, that answer prayer that will take me to the limelight. Give it to me in the mighty name of Jesus. You say, come to me, all you that labor and heavenly lady, you give them rest. But there is no rest without victory. Give me all around victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In every area of my life, give me victory. Physically, give me victory. Academically, give me victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. In my ministry, give me victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Over my marriage, over my family, give me victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. In my business, in my career, we pray for victory in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for victory, Lord God, in every area. We are, Lord God, we are experiencing, Lord God, the, your move, Lord God. Show up like never before in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, we pray for massive deliverance today in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for miracle, Lord God, like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Testimony like never before. Father, we thank you. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Hallelujah. I just begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Give him all the praise, give him all the honor because he's worthy of our praise this afternoon. Just appreciate the Lord. You got times and seasons in your hands. You call for light. You don't need no man to be the God you are Cause you have chosen to call me your own You got times and seasons in your hands You call for light out of darkness Chosen to call 
your love is so great You were merciful and gracious You redeemed my soul From every destruction I will sing your praise I will dance and lift you high, high You've been so good to me, Jesus No one like you I will sing your prayers Worthy, worthy 
of my praise You are the most high You are worthy You are worthy Worthy of my praise You are worthy Worthy of my praise You are the most high You are worthy Somebody say baba Somebody say baba 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 Somebody say Hashem Somebody say Jesus Somebody say Yahweh Baba 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 me loke Hallelujah Are you dancing to God? Amen Everything na double double. My blessings na double double. Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. just quick housekeeping because we're about to enter the breakout uh, sessions so um, these spaces or the breakout sessions have been meticulously prepared as part of the 24-hour prayer marathon each focusing on specific areas of life that requires divine intervention so integrating both spiritual and practical aspects so each of these breakout sessions caters to a unique need they are facilitated by spiritual leaders and professionals who are ready to guide you in prayer and practical wisdom so the first breakout session is the singles about to marry. This is for those preparing or thinking about entering the sacred journey of marriage. Here you, you, we will be praying and listening to powerful messages for divine direction and wisdom to make godly choices. So um, for the singles, the young adults will be meeting on the ground floor over there. So you can pack your bags and we'll meet you over there. And so the second um, breakout session is, for, is in the immigration clinic. So this is located on the top floor, um, and this room is dedicated to those navigating immigration, immigration issues alongside fervent prayers for divine favor. We'll would also be offering practical direction on immigration processes. So if um, that concerns you, you can go to the top floor. Um, and then the third session is for the mothers and fathers of nations. So we'll be meeting in the main auditorium. So this session welcomes all waiting mothers and fathers. So we would have fire prayers, live testimonies, and we would also be benefiting from the wisdom of um, uh, um, Dr. Ogulano. I believe she should be here somewhere. But we would have um, like proper introductions once um, we've started the session. And then the final um, breakout session is the school of prayer. So we'll be assembled in the basement. So this session is, um, is open to all desiring a deeper communion with God. Uh, here we'll combine spirituality of prayer with the practical, uh, practicality of developing effective prayer habits and strategies. So we invite you to join the sessions that aligns with your current needs. And our prayer warriors, spiritual leaders, and professionals stand ready to intercede with you 
to guide you and to equip you with both spiritual and practical tools. So uh, we can stand up now and go to our, our various breakout sessions. Thank you. Now the breakout session will be spanning through till 3 p.m. And then that's when we all go on break for another one, another one hour, right? Another one hour will gather again by four, right? Four to six. Okay, okay. Very good. So please, let's go ahead. Let's go to our various breakout sessions. If you know you are not looking for a baby, don't stay here. Even if you have retired, you will conceive. That's the truth. I'm not joking. If you know you are not looking for a baby, don't stay here. Now, Ebolua, I think we should, maybe the school of prayer should use upstairs because I'm not sure if we have enough chairs downstairs. Ebolua Lewa, do we have enough chairs downstairs? Okay, okay. Please, school of prayers, that's diverse. If you don't fall in between the three class, you want deliverance, you want healing, you want um, ogunle, baba, ogunle, yeah, family problem, blah, 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 blah. The basement. Please, Ebolua Lewa, Ore, please help us check, make sure that they have available uh, enough chairs in there. Okay. The all young adults, whether you are ready for wedding, marriage or not, go there. Whether you are ready for marriage or not, young adult, what they will be sharing will bless you. Praise God. Young adults, all the coordinators, the facilitators, fa facilitators should go to their various classes. All facilitators, please go to your various classes. All facilitators, go to your various classes. Wherever you are ministering, please go down there. Is Dr. Ogunano here? Oh, okay. God bless you. Sam, please can I, can we, okay, I think we should, I sh we should come down here. All mother of nations, please come on this area, come to this area. Can you get me that one of those stands? All mother of nations, let's make use of this place. No, 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 no. Go for prayers. Don't PA me now. Me too, I am PA myself. I am praying. Go and pray. I think we're going to have a lot of people in the school of prayers. Dr. Gunano, God bless you. Nice to meet you. My name is Samuel. Please have your seat. We'll be introducing you when it's time. Oh, mother of nations, father of nations, where are you? Please sit down here as we pray together. They'll be streaming this live. Um, they will be streaming this live. Newly married, and you are not yet, you've not yet conceived. Oh, um, well, okay. I, I'm thinking they sh that we should stream this live. Yeah, we'll only stream this, just this session. Just this session. Just this session. Okay. I'm not sure we have enough chairs down there. Immigration. Do we have immigration? Immigration upstairs. Brother Gift, go and check downstairs for me if we have enough chairs. If not, please make arrangements to move some of the chairs here. We have the, no, to move these chairs. Okay, please, let's move them right away. Move them, move them, move them. If you are going to the basement, please, you can pick one of these chairs along with you, please. I'm not sure we have enough chairs downstairs. Oh, okay. It cannot contain everybody. Ooh. Okay, so maybe should, we should use... Oh my God. Check that for me. If that place cannot contain them, maybe we'll move them upstairs then. Young adults to this hall. 
My dear, go to the basement. Go and check the place for me and see whether it contains them. If not, let's move them. Praise God. Your baby is here. Shout it as if you believe it. Your baby is here. In the name of Jesus. Sorry, just a few minutes. All young adults, you have, got, you have to go to that room. There's enough chairs for the young adult, right? They don't have enough chairs? Oh, my. Sister Nike, ushers, go downstairs, check that place for me. If it's not containing them, then maybe we need to make an arrangement. Maybe we have to move people upstairs. Look at Chris. I told you to go and check something for me and you are busy playing. Stanike, go downstairs. It's not enough. Oh my. Okay. So. It's not that all cannot contain them. Too small. Oh my. So maybe we should use upstairs then. Brakule, eh? It's very small. Maybe we should come up here and then the wedding mothers. Okay, please tell them to come up. We're very sorry about that. Wedding mothers, let's go use the, the basement, please. It seems, we, it seems we have enough, a lot of people for... Just hold on, let them come. Please sit down, sit down. Sorry for... Hello, sister, I'm um, doing... Sorry for troubling you up and down, please. Sorry, sorry about that, please. Please come upstairs. Let's use upstairs. Is there... Bra, evangelist Kule... Is there another route to the basement? Another route to the basement? I mean, we can, so that they can go through this place and, okay, everyone's going to go to the basement and apologize to the people and tell them to come upstairs so that they will stay here. Sorry about that. Sorry, Bracken, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Brian. Mama Buzari, everybody, sorry about that. We thought that place would contain them all. And mother of nations, father of nations, sorry for having to stress you. Dr. Ogunlano, God bless you. Thank you for coming. Sorry, you, we, have to, we have to move you down to the basement. Thank you. We'll be taking time to pray. I'm going to be there with you, mother of nations. Myself, Mommy Shoye, and Evangelist Nii Molake will be ministering by the grace of God and with Dr. Ogunlano. So, we, Ogunlano, right? We'll be attacking it from medical and spiritual. So there's no escape route for that problem of yours. Write it down. You will carry your baby next year. Amen. Please come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Please come up. Okay. Lewa. Let's lead these wonderful people through the other route there. So they can go in through there. Please, you can stand up, ma. Thank you. Please come in. Mommy Kazim. Come in. Come in. Come in. Sister Mommy Banjo. Sorry about that. Take this place. Follow this girl in blue. Sister, follow this girl in blue. Masareni, Rorari. Ah, Lewa. Take it easy. When you are not doing much in parade. Eh? Sorry about that, please. So the school of prayer will use this place then. We didn't, eh? Mommy, to the basement. We didn't emphasize. Sorry about that. Those of us in school of prayer, come up, come up, come up. Let's use this place. Those of us in school of prayers, we can transmit the school of prayers, right? Jean, okay, God bless you. Baba Kitokun, elder, multimedia department, we can transmit the school of prayer, right? Okay. School of prayers. The wedding mothers are going to the basement. That should contain them. Okay, this is the hour of victory. Sorry for. Mama Kisonya, you are the one starting. Sorry about that. We are very sorry. We are very sorry. Please, let's, my sister Tolu, sister Tolu, sister Tolu, come. Let's move on to this side. Everybody, we are very sorry. Mommy Akitoku, sorry about that. Baba, sister Bola, let's move to this side. Let's do our school of prayer. We're very sorry. Sister Lola, Mommy, Mommy Mudashiru, sorry about that. Sister Bose, 
Sorry for having to tell you to go downstairs. Baba, sorry about that. Sister Sherwin, everybody, we are very sorry. Bracky, come here. Let's move on. To, let's all stand on this roll. Grandma Olale, yeah, we're very sorry. Sorry, everybody, about that. We didn't envisage such crowd for the basement. Bra gift, tell if, if they are not looking for baby, they should not stay there. Go and announce, go back there. If they are not looking for baby, they should not stay there. Let's stay on this roll. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jean, are we covering this session? Okay. Hallelujah. Sister Sandra, sorry, my dear. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Sorry about that. We're very sorry, Sister Inka. Mommy Akitoku, sorry. Mommy Busari, sorry, 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 everybody. We're very sorry for having to trouble you. It's going to end in testimony. My son, Dotu, this man took off a whole day. Wow, I am impressed. Elder Femi, sorry about that. God bless you. Baba Nijo. Sister Diola, sorry about that. Everybody, rise to your feet, wherever you are. Sorry, my dear, my dear brother, what's your name? The, bro the man holding the water? Yes, sir, Yo, yeah, what's the name, sir? Brother Bayo, sorry about that, eh? Lift up your two hands, everybody. Where's my magician? Lift up your two hands and say, Father. Eh? You don't want to start like that, sir. Somebody shout, Father! In the name of Jesus. Shout it louder, Father, in the name of Jesus. As from today, no more defeat. No more defeat in the battles of life. No more defeat in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. No more defeat. Victory shall be my portion. 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 No more defeat. Ialagaza Bananda Rusatalia. No more defeat. Victory shall be my portion. Victory shall be our portion in the name of Jesus. In the mood of prayer, let us give glory to God. The Lord that answers prayers. The Lord that said, Call upon me, and I will answer. Let us lift up our hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Because you answer prayers. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. For even making it possible for me to be here. Father, I give you all the glory. Father, I appreciate you. Father, all the glory, I return it back to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the work you have done. Thank you for what you are doing right now. And thank you for what you continue to do. Thank you, Lord. Because you have met my needs. Because I did not come here in vain. Father, I give you all the glory. Lord, I appreciate you. Father, I'm grateful. Father, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Abba, Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Singing, Abba, Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Abba, Father. Abba, Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Praise the Lord. Please, let us be in the mood of prayers. Let us be in the mood of prayer. Today is a wonderful day. This hours is a wonderful day. This is an hour that we have never had in this CAC, Christ Apostolic Church. But the Lord ordained today that you should come and be with him alone. Please, let us focus on God. Let us believe that there's no, there's no battle that God cannot conquer. Praise the Lord. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he owns the future. And life is what 
the living just because he lives. One more time. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he owes my future. And life is what the living just because he lives. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We will now ask Lord, Lord, I come in the name of you. Not in the name of pastor. Not in the name of anybody. Lord, I come in the name of Jesus. The author and preacher of my faith. Father, meet my need. In the name of Jesus. Unless if he didn't come because of God. Unless if he did not come to come and meet God. But if he come to meet God. Lord, I come to you today. Meet my need. Ah, what people did not know that I'm going through. But I always cry to you and tell it. There are a lot of problems that you cannot even share. There are a lot of, there's a lot of problems that in your father's house, in your mother's house, which you know you are battling. But you cannot share it because I'm a fibu elola. But God said, come out to me. All ye that labor, and I will give you rest. Father, I come to meet you today. Father, meet my need. God of fighter, fight my battle for me. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. And you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Father, meet my need. Fight for me today. Fight my battle for me. Lord, fight my battle for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, fight my battle for me. Lord, in the name of Jesus, fight my battle for me. I can't fight it alone. I can't do it by myself. King of king, I come to you, Lord. I come to you, Lord, because I know you can do it for me. Lord, fight my battle for me. King of king, fight my battle for me. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray. Lord, I will not come in vain today. Ah, <laughs> today is a holiday. They are paying double in my work. I cancel it. I will not cancel my work in vain. I will not come here in vain. Father, I will not waste my time. I will not come here in vain. Father, touch me. Lord, touch me. Wherever your children is, tell them, Lord, touch my children. Father, touch me. Father, touch me. My Lord, Father, touch me. Oh, why is Shagun? Father, touch me. Oh, what in Ben you look at? Father, touch me. Father, touch my life. Father, touch my life. I need you in my life. My children need you. Father, touch me. In the name of Jesus. You want to call no more busy, but I think Tamila said. Father, touch me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, touch me. Touch me, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. There's a song in my country that says. Fumini shagun, lori ota idile. Fumini shagun, lori ala roka o. Fumini shagun, kemi yire in your logo. Please, if you are a Yoruba person, you can sing this song. And I will explain it in English. Fumini shagun, lori ota idile. Hey, fumini shagun, lori ala roka o. For me, Nishagun, Kemi, Lenny, or Logo. Lord, give me victory over my enemies. Lord, give me victory over. Let me tell you, do you know people are jealous of you? And that is the most, the most big enemy. When you are moving with people and you don't know you are, they are jealous of you. Even if you go to a value village, you put on the cloth, they will say, Ah, I show you that they are jealous of you. For me, Nishagun. Lori Alaroka. People that are jealous in you that you don't know. Fumini Shegun Lori one. People that they will laugh at you and your back. They say different things. Oluwa Fumini Shegun Lori one. 
Because you don't know them. You can't know them. You only see face. You don't know inside. Lord, give me victory. Lord, I want to hurry with all face. You see me, but you know what? see me? Lord, give me victory. Lord, you are not okay. Lord, give me victory. Lord, you are not jealous me. Lord, give me victory. Lord, you are good. Delay, you are good, Baba. Lord, give me. If God doesn't give you victory, who wants to give it to you? Oba funi mashiregun. If God doesn't give you victory, who wants to give it to you? So, Omo ya lo fell oba. Toba da fun eton. Alo mo umo alo shako. They will say something. Oma song koko shani. Olu afu mi ni shegun lori ota i delay me. Olu afu mi ni shegun lori ota i delay ya i delay Baba. Olu afu mi ni shegun. Olu agwo mi ni agbara shegun. Olu afu mi ni agbara shegun. Pray. God, give me victory over my battle. Lord, give me victory over my battle. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, give me victory over my battles. Father, give me victory over my battles. Lord, give me victory over them. Lord, call Jesus Christ. Lord, give me victory over my battle, over my problem. Give me victory. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We pray, oh Lord Jesus. No power will hide me or keep me where I don't want to belong. Father, in the name of Jesus, no power will keep me where I don't want to belong. Do not let any power hide me. Do not let any power hide me where I do not belong. Prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, do not like allow any satanic power to hide me where I do not belong. Father, in the name of Jesus, no power will hide me where I do not belong. In the mighty name of Jesus, no power will hide me where I do not want to belong. Where I don't want to be, no power will hide me there. Father, in the name of Jesus, every power of Satan, every power of devil, Father, do not give them the power to hide me where I do not belong. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray, please. We are praying as if we are not going to be a victory. Let us pray. We cannot stand in one side and be praying that, Lord, fight my battle for me. We cannot do that. Prayer. Let us pray. I am rising and moving up higher than my enemy. I am rising. I will rise. My children will rise. Over my enemy, I will rise. Your power, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your power move me higher. In the name of Jesus, let your power move me. Let your power push me higher. I am rising above my enemy. Whoever my enemy is, I don't care. Whoever my enemy is, I don't care. Father, lift me higher above my enemy. In the name of Jesus, lift me higher above my enemy. Lord, who called Jesus Christ? All who are going to be me, Lord. All who are going to go, 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 go. All who are going to let my enemy be looking at me higher. Let my enemy be looking at me in a higher place. I'm going to be a victory. I will conquer my enemy. But you will call that no, like Barato. Whatever our power they have, Father. Lift me higher. Give me victory. In the name of Jesus. Sorry. In the mood of prayer. We are in the mood of prayer. Praise the Lord. We will pray God. In the day of my celebration, the voice of my enemy will not be louder than my voice. Ah! In the day of my celebration, in the day of my celebration, the voice of my enemy will not be louder than my voice. On the day of my celebration, on the day of the wedding of my children, on the day of my congratulation of my children, on the day of my turnaround, Lord, the voice of my enemy will not be louder than my voice. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it will not end the way the enemy planet. Let us pray. It will not end the way the enemy planet. 
In the name of Jesus, it will not end the way the enemy plan it. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I want mommy. It will not end the way the enemy plan it. On my celebration day, it will not end the way the enemy plan it. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. If there's no battle, there's no victory. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There's one pastor I listen to on online. He said, if anybody doesn't fight you, fight your glory, then there's no happiness in your glory. And it's about a lot of people. If you don't have enemy, you can't go anywhere. They fight you because they see your glory. They fight you because they know where your children are going. They fight you because they know where you are going to end it to. If they don't fight you, check yourself. If you don't have enemy, check yourself. If you have enemy, thank God. Because God will give you victory. There's a reason why they are fighting you. You think they're fighting you for nothing? You think they fight you because they didn't see anything in you? Ah, they fight you because they've seen your glory. Father, we will now pray. Oh Lord. Wherever I have passed through and my glory has been snatched. Ah, wherever I've taken my children to and their glory has been snatched. When you are moving with a friend, you don't know what kind of friend you are moving with. You don't know where that friend is born into. I was looking at my TV and I saw beautiful, beautiful, oh my goodness. I just bowed down into tears. Because people you have, when you are young, people you have gone in their house to go and eat. People you have talked to. People you have borrowed their clothes to wear. And this beautiful lady said, there's nobody that see me that will not see the beauty in me. I said, Yeme Jani. He said, what is Yeme Jani do? Mami, as, uh, in Mami water. He now explained. This is when he got to Christ. When, he has, when she has already known Christ. He now explained to people that have slept with her that she has taken their glory. She mentioned their name. She said, for you people not to know that I'm not telling lies. He mentioned their name. He said they should call them out now. Where are their glory? But she has, she has got Christ. You cannot see that kind of person. My son will not bring that person home. I will say, ah, ah, where do you see this beautiful girl? But it's mermaid. It's mommy water. Nibony Mouti Bakoja. Togo me to Toti Bolo. Where have I gone that my glory has been snatched? Where have I taken my children into that I did not know that their glory has been snatched? Lord, today, by the power of 24 hours that we are in today, take my glory back. Take my children glory back. Ni bo ni moti gba koja to gwa ye mi ti bo mo mi lowo. Ni bo ni moti gbe awon mo mi koja ti mi o mo. To go won ti bo danu ti mi o mo. Ti mo wa ngba duwa ta we leoni. Loruko Jesus wherever. There's one pastor that said anywhere ibiti afefe ba wa ohun wa nbe. Unless if there's no ear. Ibi ki biti afefe ba wa. Concilia la yeti afefe osi. Olu wa lo si be ko gba gwa ye mi pada. Olu wa lo si be. Prayer. Father in the name of Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus. Ni mo ti mo ti gba ko ja. Ti mo ti rogun. Ni mo ni mo ti gba ko ja. Ni mo ni mo kwa wama lo mo lo. To gwa ye wama ti bole to ti gba lo wama lo wama. Lord, Lenny. Lord, take them back. Father, go to that altar and take them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, take it back. Lord, take the glory of my children back. Lord, take my glory back. Nibony mok bakoja, nibony mok bakoja, tio yakin law. Nibony mok bakoja, or a one mot is so tio yakin so. What is this? What kind of friend have I had that I don't supposed to have? Lord, pass through my life today. Give me victory. Lord, give me victory. Father, give me victory. Oluwa wo mi ni aso isegun. Oluwa gbe agbara isegun wo mi. Oluwa wo mi ni aso make me a victory. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Still in the mood of prayer. My time is up. Ah, We will now ask God, Lord, draw me closer to you. When I look at when I look back, I saw so empty seats. I say, ah, hey, if it is Nigeria, you don't come here four o'clock, you don't sit here to eat to sit. But here, ah, here, walk. I tell me now, no time. But this time come once in a while. Once in a while. Not every day. We don't see this opportunity every day. Just once in a while. Father, I want you to put your light on me. Wherever I go, let them see your light in me. Wherever I go, make me untouchable. Nibi share me. Make me untouchable. Lord, make my children untouchable. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, put your light in me. Lord, make me untouchable. Father, make me untouchable. Wherever I go, let them see your glory in me. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we give you all the glory. Let's praise God. Let's give him all the glory. The Lord that answers prayers. Father, thank you, Jesus. Because I did not come in vain. Because I have conquered my battle. I have conquered my battle. Praise, let us praise it. In Jesus' name we pray. It shall be permanent. In Jesus' name. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Uh, our God is good. And all the time. Mommy, thank you so much for that very powerful prayer session. It is my prayer that in the name of Jesus, God will continue to use you mightily as a mighty oracle in the name of Jesus. Before we go into the world, we are going to pray one prayer. Because one of the ways that you know that you have victory is when your condition changes to a testimony. So now we are going to pray. We are going to say, my father, my maker, announce my victory with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Oh God, announce my victory with a testimony. I want to see the evidence of your hand in my life, oh God. Announce my victory, my victory, my victory with a testimony. In the name of Jesus, concerning my husband, my children, my career, my health, oh God. Announce my victory with this challenge, with a testimony. In the name of Jesus, Lord, announce my victory with a testimony. Concerning my academics, oh God, announce this victory in this course with a graduation testimony. In the name of Jesus, announce my victory in this depth, oh God, by providing supernatural opportunities for me. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Can we be seated? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. The topic for today's short charge is victory roundabout. Victory roundabout. First, we are going to thank God for what he has done for us so far. Some of us may not know. But there are angels that are taking record already. Like I said earlier, there was an inspiration dropped in my spirit. That many came with expectations. But the hand of God is sticking answered. 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 In the name of Jesus. So you are just going to say, as you are sitting, just say, Lord, I thank you for what you have done so far. Just appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate the Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost, for what he has done for me so far in, this pres in, in his presence, oh God. Thank you for what you have done in my life. Everything that you have done, the turn around, you've turned my situation around. It's only a matter of time before you see it manifest. It's only a matter of time, a matter of time, before you begin to see the manifestation of your labor today. So thank the Lord and say, Lord, I see what you have done in my life. And I'm saying thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want it to be fired into your consciousness that God cannot gather his people and allow them to wallow in defeat. It's a lie. That's not how the Holy Spirit operates. And we also like to bring it to your awareness that we are not alone because we have supernatural backing all around us. No matter the storm that life may throw at us, 
no matter the challenge that life may throw at us, we are not alone. When King Aram wanted to ambush the Israelites, he had already gone to a specific location that he would attack Israel from here, here, and here. And Elisha went ahead to tell the king, don't cross that area because those people will be there. And then King Aram wondered and said, why is it that Israel knows ahead? What is going on? Where are they getting this information from? And the people told him that, see, Elisha is giving him information that you are even saying in your bedroom. And when Aram said, go and find Elisha, tell me where he is. I'm coming for him. And the servant of Elisha came out that morning. And he had seen that they had surrounded the city. And he was afraid. And Elisha said, those who are with us are more than those who are with them. I just want you to know that the power and the host of heaven is around us and they are ready to take up our case for victory in the name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57, the word of God says, but thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This means that the solution to your challenges that you have been praying for is in Jesus Christ. This means that the solution to the battles of your life, the battles in your generation, the battles in your career, the solution that you are looking for, that formula is in Jesus Christ. Fact number two. The word of God says in Psalm 34 verse 19, I love this scripture. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but it is the Lord that delivers them from them all. What this scripture is trying to say is that there is an assurance, there is a certainty, and it is a fact that any challenge, no matter how chronic, how long it may be, it has an expiry date because our God will deliver us. That is what that scripture is saying. We may endure it for a night, but the word of God says joy must surely come in the morning. Maybe you received a negative report concerning your health. Maybe they declined your permanent residence. Maybe you have noticed that as time goes on, your future is worse than your past. Maybe you are having all kinds of negative dreams. When you are about to get something tangible, you are about to hit a milestone. All of a sudden, that demonic dream arises. Fear not, because the word of God says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world hallelujah fact number three i am here to remind you that one of the driving forces that makes victory very possible is the power of the living god and when that mighty power comes upon your case it must obey when that power comes upon your case it must comply when that power comes upon your case, it must give way the power of God. That man that was at the gatherings possessed with many spirits, multiple demons inside one body. And what did Jesus say? Get out of him. And all the legions of those spirits, they got out. Compliance. That is what the power of God does. Lazarus was dead for four days. And Jesus went to that tombstone, gave thanks to God, and he said, Lazarus, come out. And a man that has been dead for four days arose and came out. That is the power of God. It must obey. So in the name of Jesus, I decree that whatever challenge you are going through, whatever difficulty you may be experiencing, causing you heart pain, causing you to shed tears, causing you to wallow in regret you think that time is lost but I call upon the restorer our deliverer and I pray that in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus God will give you victory in the mighty name of Jesus so what is victory roundabout what exactly does it mean the word of God says in Psalm 60 verse 11 to 12 Oh, give us help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is in vain. Through God we shall do valiantly. 
and it is he who will thread down our adversaries. All-round victory is the kind of victory that is complete. No partial victory, no temporary victory. All-round victory is complete conquest. Number two, all-round victory is defeating the oppressions of the wicked so that the battle will not be transferred to your children. That evil generational pattern ends in your era because you stood up as a prophet for your home to ensure it does not get passed on to your kids. Time is not an assurance for victory. Unfavorable conditions do not just get better. Not the ones that are sponsored by wicked spirits. They will not get better. You cannot use time to bind and cast demons. If you want to enjoy all-round victory, you must confront it. Ego better did not work for the Israelites. Their bondage in Egypt did not get better. They were in bondage for 430 years. But God used the man to confront Pharaoh. And that, I mean, if God did not intervene, they would have remained in defeat. Praise the Lord. So what are the weapons that ensure victory? What are the weapons? How has God equipped us to ensure that we get victory all round about? Number one, Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to 4. Luke 18 from verse 1 to 4. The word of God says, then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, In a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused. But finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God, or even care what people think. Yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she will not come and attack me. There is something about persistence in prayer that will bend your condition to favor you. It's a guarantee. Be persistent. Persistence is a system of warfare that will command powers no matter their ranking. No matter their dominion, no matter their power, they must bend to, and give you what belongs to you. Persistence in prayer. You have been waiting on God on a particular thing, but you gave up. Why did you stop? You used to observe midnight prayer. You used to pray non-stop. Your spiritual senses were sharp. Why did you stop? You gave up too easily. Why did you stop? God is reminding us through that parable. That persistence in prayer is one of the sure ways to ensure victory. Praise the Lord. Second John chapter 2 from verse 2 to 13. The word of God says, Because of the truth that abides in us and will be with us forever. Battles of life are very draining. It's very exhausting. Battles of life can be discouraging and they can be very overwhelming. But the spiritual strength that you need to conquer the battle can be drawn from the word of God. You need that strength while you are in the waiting room anticipating your victory. How much of the word of God abides in you? How much of the word of God abides in your spirit? How much of the word of God abides in your soul? The word that you meditated on in your quiet time, the word that you were meditating on, while you were studying the word. It is what you will use in the time of battle. It is what you will use when the devil comes to confront you. When the devil comes to your spirit man in your sleep. It is the word that you know that you used to conquer those battles. So in the name of Jesus I pray. That God will give us the grace. To dwell in the word. To live in the word. That the word will become part of us in the name of Jesus. Number three. The third weapon to ensure victory. The word of God says in Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. They triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. The blood of Jesus is a very, very potent weapon to demand 
and to enforce victory. Please keep in mind that Jesus already paid the price. So use his blood to ensure that you get your victory in the name of Jesus. Number four, the power of testimony. Your testimony is a reminder of the devil of how he failed woefully. Where was spirit husband when you got pregnant? Where was Satan when your PR was given to you even though you were discouraged? Where was Satan when you won that court case even though you thought that all hope was lost? Where was Satan when you graduated even though there was no money to pay your school fees? Your testimony is a rub off on the devil's face to show that God is powerful. And you know something about a testimony? It replicates itself. As you are sharing the testimony, you are giving it more avenue to manifest again in your life and in the life of those that are hearing your own. Praise the Lord. Number four, victory by the mercy of God. Number five, victory by the mercy of God. Thank you, mommy. The word of God says, it is not him that will it, neither is it him that run it, but it is God that showeth mercy. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, the word of God says, let us approach God's throne with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Find grace, receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. When the enemy has concluded defeat over you, you know, the word of God says that they have their appointed time of death. When the enemy has concluded your case, do you know what can stand up for you? It is the mercy of God. When you know that no man can help you out. You know that nobody can help you, only God. Do you know what can stand for you? It is the mercy of God. When all hope is lost, all doors are shut, and it seems that there is no way. Do you know what can stand for you? It is the mercy of God. When it seems that you have no helper, and you are all by yourself, and you don't know how this situation can turn around. Do you know what can stand for you? It is the mercy of God. Even when they have concluded you and said your own, you are done for. There is a system in the realm of the spirit that can turn things around for your favor. It is the mercy of God. I want you to lift up your voice and say, my father, my maker, by the mercy of God, let my life experience victory in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your voice and begin to pray. Contact mercy by the mercy of God. By the mercy of God, let my life experience victory in the name of Jesus. Lord, no man can help me. Lord, no one can help me, oh God. You are my only help. And I look up to the hills from where comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And so in the name of Jesus, I cry out to you, oh God. Show me mercy that I may experience victory in the name of Jesus. Lord, I've been going for this, going through this battle for five years, ten years, fifteen years. Oh God, by your mercy, it comes to an end. It comes to an end. It comes to an end. Use the mercy of God and command it to come to an end in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, it comes to an end in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In conclusion, we are faced with so many challenges. And that's why people jump from one man of God to the other. That's why people jump from one church to, your, to the other. And it's very sad because when you go into the house of a fake prophet, you are only compounding more problems for yourself. People are desperately looking for tangible results. But it is my prayer that in the name of Jesus, our Father in heaven, who grant us the victory that we desire in the name of Jesus. I also pray for you that in the name of Jesus, the solution to the battles of your life, the solution, the solution, God, the solution to the battles that I am facing in my finances, the solution, oh God, for me to encounter deliverance, the solution, that I need, Lord. I will experience it today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and I decree because the word of God says that thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee. In the name of Jesus, I decree that in the name of Jesus, all your life will experience 
victory round about in the name of Jesus. Victory round about, victory round about. No victory in one area, victory in all areas in the name of Jesus. Because why Paul and Silas prayed in that prison? It says the power of God like an earthquake came and all doors were open. And so I decree that in the name of Jesus, concerning all the areas of your life, you will experience victory in the name of Jesus. As you pray, as you cry out to God, as you seek the face of God, all that your life will begin to experience, the fruit, the tangible, physical manifestation of your prayer shall be victory in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus, mighty, precious day, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Are you happy today? Are you happy about this section? Let's celebrate God's life for our sister Catherine. She did very well. The word of God. The Bible says, the word of God I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. The Bible says, I send my word, I heal them and deliver them from that social. So we need the word of God to survive, to have victory. I see you having victory in the name of Jesus Christ. We are in the never section. This section is not sitting down section. Because we are talking about life and death, untimely death. Does anybody who wants to die young? Let me see your hand. Does anybody want to live long? How many years? Praise God. Those are people who read the Bible. 120 years. Please, I will help. Look, we must, <laughs> we must not have this time again. I'm very pleased. What we are going to do now. We can't do it again. And this is life and death. If you meet a doctor, say, please give me life. He can't give you life. He can prescribe for you drugs. Right? He can't give you life. So life is in the hand of God. So therefore, anything that wants to cut your life short, my life short, is an enemy. And that's what we want to do and address right now. Please rise up with your feet. Begin to celebrate God for this opportunity you are having right now. Because God's going to do something great in your life today. Any form of death that is for your spirit, anywhere they read your name off, let's say you are going to die. I would believe that somebody is not here that the doctor gave you an instruction that you are going to die whether seven days, whether 10 days, whatever. If you are here, if you have that, please raise that today. That is counseled in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you what I know, what I understand. This is my own area, please. God bless you all. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We worship your name. We give you praise. I exalt your holy name. Lord, we pray you praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O oh Lord. Worthy, O oh Lord. Honor and power. And power for thou hast created. All things have for the pleasure they have and were created. The Bible says, Look, I will give some scriptures. Eh? When you reach home, we, normal, we might not read it, but it's good for you. If you want to live long, these scriptures is very good for you. I will give you some scriptures. Exodus 22, verse 18. Leviticus 20, verse 27. Leviticus 19, verse 31. Deuteronomy chapter 18, 9 to 12. Leviticus 20, verse 6. Isaiah 8, verse 19. Revelation 21, 8. 2 Kings 21, verse 6. Psalm 27, 1 to 2. Which one do you want? <laughs> okay, praise God, praise God. Praise God. Okay, let's go to our business. <laughs> the Bible says, <laughs> if you have the Bible, you have power. Eh? Yes, that is, this is what we are praying. Yes, the Bible says in Revelation 18, Proverbs 18, verse 21, it says, Death and life are the power of the tongue, and those that love it shall eat the fruit. American Standard says, Those that choose it. So it depends on you. You either choose life or you choose death. But my prayer for you today, you choose life in the name of Jesus. With this, you are going to pray like this. It says, Any spirit of death that is following me, following my family member, you are a liar. Die by fire. 
die by fire. Open your mouth and say it. Every spirit of death following me from my hometown, from my village, from my father's house, from my mother's house, even my place of birth, even in this city. If I command you, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. Open your mouth and say it. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Psalm 118 verse 17, it says, Thou shalt not die. I shall not die, but live and declare the words of the Lord. I want to see somebody here. Maybe somebody I've told you. I've had this in my spirit right from before this program. Somebody, they have told you you're going to die. I'm not going to call you out, please. But I want you to pray this prayer because I know quite all right. Somebody is here. They told you you will die. You have this in you. But today is counsel in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Every spirit of death, every injunction, every prescription, every conclusion that you are going to die before the end of this year, I command you to be reversed in the name of Jesus. I say I command you to be reversed in the name of Jesus. Look, the devil is not insured about your money. The devil is not insured about your possession. Whether your car, your houses. Let me tell you, it's a shut up of what? Your soul. That's why the Bible says that the soul that is sinner, it shall die. So if you are pursuing material things, that is what you come here to do. You are making a very big mistake. You have to change your state of mind. Because if you die, if I die, you had to go to heaven, I go to hell. And there's no repentance in the grave. I believe that nobody will go to hell here in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray like this. Wherever my name is taken to, wherever my name is placed in any altar, you yeah, have to kill me. Be reversed. 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 Wherever my name is taken to, wherever my name is placed, in every shrine, in every altar, in every altar, in every conclave, in every occult house, be reversed for evil. Anywhere that takes my name for evil, be reversed. Be reversed. Mention your name, name of your husband, name of your wife, name of your shooter. Let it be reversed. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, when men slept, then make him a sota. Let me tell you, before somebody die, they already killed in the spirit. It's not that day that person died. They already killed him. Most of these things they do is when you go to bed and sleep. Beloved, if you have not learned the prayer of praying from 12, I want to advise you, please, try it. If it's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, I will see the result in the name of God. Bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I got to pray like this. Every power using the night. Every power using the night. To attack me for a timely death. You are a liar. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested. Be arrested. Every wicked power using power of the night to fight me, to destroy my life, to cause or tell me death. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Be arrested. Be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible talks about arrow. The enemy shoots arrow. Has anybody received arrow here before? Has anybody received arrow here before in his body or her body? Thank you, Daddy. We have to be practicalized. God bless you, Daddy. Me, I've received. But what, what, what do you do when you receive the arrow? You have to send it back. There is a way I live when I flee my school. Sorry to share this so that you will understand that. I lived in a family home. I didn't know. They asked me two questions if I entered. Are you a Christian? I say yes. Do you pray? I say yes. But when I entered there, I don't know it was in a courthouse. But when the prayers was going here, the man confronted me and said, this thing you're doing here is disturbing me. Stop it. I said, oh, what? I've been for many years. So I tell him this. So what happened? They have been shooting me arrow. But one day, I learned how to pray the night. And what happened? I was coming for a night. The man said, pray to come and pray for my wife. I just rushed out to the hospital. I said, you said what? I will go and call my pastor. I never call pastor, please. Because that will now of evil load. Whoever load that shot into your body, any arrow, they shall carry it by fire today in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray. Anywhere you have any problem, place your hand on that place. Any arrow that's in your body, and if you have any problem in your head, in your body, any part of your body, play your hand on that place. We want to send it back now. That is how to show that the power of God is free. If you don't see it, how will you believe? If you don't see it, you can't believe it. So we are going to pray. Anywhere, any power in your body, any place, Place your hand over there, say you're going to command this. Any arrow in my body, any arrow for a timely death in my body, what are you waiting for? 
Jump out! Look at your sender! Jump out! 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 Command those arrows! Arrows of death! Arrows of coming death! Arrows of failure! Arrows of promotion death! Come out! Come out! Come out! Look at your sender! By fire! By fire! By fire! Please help yourself to pray! Help yourself to pray! Help yourself! Yes! Come out! 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 Come out by fire! Come out by fire! Come out by fire! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' mighty name we pray! We are going to pray this prayer! Say, my destiny! My destiny! That is buried in the covenant! My destiny that is buried in the coffee. My destiny that is buried in the cemetery. Have anybody been to the cemetery here before? In the night? She says no. <laughs> okay, it's just time for us. <laughs> Pray this prayer. <laughs> My destiny buried in the coffin. Bury the coffee! Bury the cemetery! What are we waiting for? Jump out by fire! And look at me! Yes, command it! Command your marriage! Command your finance! Command your good health! Let them jump out! Jump out! Jump out! Jump out! From every coven! From every shrine! From every coffee! From every cemetery! Yes! 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 Come out! Jump 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 out! In Jesus' name we pray! Before I hand up, I want you to take this prayer. Something will jump out from your body. They're going to shout this prayer. It's a song. Bible says it's a song of deliverance. I like it because if I'm doing it, people always complain. I don't know where I live. I'm so... Maybe daddy, I don't know. Maybe give me one house. Brand new house. Because they can't stay. Light and darkness cannot stay anywhere. So I go to pray. Take this song. Says, you clap your hands very well. So you come out for your body. And today you will never forget for coming here today. Today must be a testimony. You must see me break through. In the name of Jesus. You can say, any power standing on my way. For that night, any power standing on my way. Any power standing on your way. Any power standing on your way. Any power standing on my way. For that and I die, 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 for that and I die. Any power, any witches, any wizard, any walk up, any water, or my law, or my law, all cloud, wizards, wizard, or my law, for that, for that and die. Amen. Amen. A lot of testimony will not say it about these evil people. There's one in my place I walk. He was I walked for 35 years. So he was trying me, touching me like this. He will come in for me. So what happened to you? Are you okay? I said, very, very okay. Okay, you okay. When the battle starts, he came the, that was on Friday, the Monday he came, he said, I've resigned. You don't need to look. Bible said, touch not that night at my prophet no matter. You're going to pray like this. An evil hand. If you have mark in your body, if you are there, you have mark in your body. That is an evil hand. There is no two ways about that. You sleep, you wake up, you see mark in your body. Either your watch yourself. It's an evil mark. I think that would be my last prayer. I go to prayer. Every evil mark in my body. Every evil mark of our timely death. Every evil mark of sickness in my body. Die by fire. Come on, let the fire go. Roast it, burn it, roast it, burn it, burn, burn, burn. Satanic mark, demonic mark of our timely death in my body, in my bone, in my liver, in my kidney, in my pancreas, in my abdomen, in my leg, in my hand. Catch fire, burn, catch fire, 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 burn to acid, burn, burn, burn. In the name of Jesus, be destroy, be destroy, be destroy, be destroy. In Jesus, mighty name. We are praying. Yeah. Begin to plead blessings upon your spiritual and body. Because this prayer, I pray, let me tell you. As pastor say, you get a reaction. There's no two ways about that. I'm telling you the truth. Say, if you don't pray for your heart, begin to cover yourself, blessings. For the next session, God is going to bless you. Lord, bless. Cover your spiritual and body. Cover your spiritual and body. Cover your spiritual and body. For this session, say those prayers. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Bless the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we thank you because you said when you pray, we call upon you, say you will answer. 
your children have cried unto you. Father Lord, you got to answer them speedily. In the name of Jesus. Any power that want to reverse that prayer, we command our power. Let the earth open and swallow such power. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of death that are projected from the father's house, mother's house, from the place of death today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we command it to go back to the center. In the name of Jesus, whatever that is marked from death today by the power of the Holy Ghost is cancelled. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, for answering the prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Evangelist Edward. Thank you so much for that powerful prayers. Thank you, Sister Catherine, for the word of God. Thank you, Mama Kensai, for the prayers that you have led. Uh, I am going to continue on this, but I just want to, before, I just want to say that every blessing that you have got, every victory that you receive right now, since the beginning of the session, it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please be seated. Yeah. I am going to say for us to say something, and I want you to follow me very well, otherwise you're going to get confused. To get all around victory, to get complete victory over anything that we need to do, I'm going to lead a secret, and I wish it doesn't confuse you. And this secret, for you to enjoy that victory and total and complete victory, is waiting. What? Waiting. That's the secret. Waiting is a difficult thing. You may think waiting is easy. Try to wait for a doctor time. One hour, two hours. Try to wait for a week. Try to wait for a month. Try to wait for years. You will realize that waiting is not easy. Waiting is take patience for us to wait. Waiting is require courage. You have to be courageous to wait. One thing don't happen and you wait next day. It takes courage, it takes boldness, it takes energy for you to wait. Where did I get this from? I'm going to, I got it from a man who never lost a battle. A man who went to a victory and never lost anyone. I'm, not talk, I'm talking none other than King David. King David wrote in Psalm 27 and verse 14, and that's what I'm going to use. Say, wait for the Lord, be brave and courageous. He said, wait on the Lord, be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. He says it twice in one verse. So he's emphasizing something. He's a man that won victory. And he's telling us to wait for the Lord. Why he's doing that? Because he learned something while he was waiting. He knew if you don't wait and you jump ahead of God, you may get into trouble. Sarah did that with Isaac and they get Ishmael. We got, they got into trouble. And the trouble is still existing up to today. Also, if you wait, too long and you don't get on time, you get into trouble. So waiting has two things in it. And those are the things I want to share. Waiting is not passive as we may think. It's the, ah, sitting there and waiting and something. No. Waiting in God's sense is active and powerful. Wait. When you wait, there are two places to wait for. You wait in place of prayer. The second thing, you wait for the timing of God. Two things. If you get them right in your waiting, your victory will be complete or be sure. When you wait, in place of prayers, you don't sit down like that and just wait. 
is a waiting with an activity in it. What are those activities? While you're waiting for something, for a promise, for a fruit of one, for anything you wait for, for God to give you victory. While you're waiting for that specific thing that you are praying for, you wait in a place of prayer with communications. You communicate to God your heart desire. You tell God what is happening about you. You tell God what you want. So you are actively communicating the need and your desire to God while you are waiting. The other thing is to look around while you are waiting. What is God doing in my life? God will be doing little things and you don't even notice. So try to figure out what God is doing right now. Maybe those little things are God using to prepare you for the big things, for the big victory. So look for those things. Sense those things. Find them out. Read your word of God. Read the word of God. It's full of assurance and God promises according to that plan that you would. Look for the word to direct you to that prayer and make you pray accordingly through the word of God. While you wait for God, there's another thing you do while you're waiting is to worship God because he's a God who is faithful. When he promised something, he's going to deliver. So you are in that time, you are praying, you are looking around, to pray, but also you are praising God because you know God is going to deliver. He's not a man that he should lie. So you are praising him already before even the victory has arrived. So you are praising him while you are waiting. And then don't notice what is going around you. Because sometimes the enemy, they say they bring tricks and diversion. While you are waiting, think this will happen here, think this will happen. So you are being distracted by little things and you lose focus on those things. Ignore what you are going. Stay focused, laser sharp on the thing you are waiting for. And keep praying and trusting God for that. And avoid any distraction. That is going to take your mind away. It's going to take your time away for prayer. It's going to take your time away for praise. For that particular purpose. Watch out for those ones. And then. While you are waiting. You are also giving thanks. You thank God. For the things that he has already given you. You may want something. You may want a victory. You may need another house. You already have a You may need this and this and this. But what about the things that God has given you? The children. The job that you have now. You may be looking for a better job. What about the job that God has given you? That you already do now. So while you are waiting, thank God for the things that he has already given you. So in that time of waiting, you are worshiping, you are praising, and you are thanking God for everything that he has provided to you. Your good health, that you are getting up every day. That's grace. You show up again. When you get up, it means one thing. It means that God is not finished with you yet. God has a plan still. You know that by getting up, the mere you getting up in the morning, you know God has, still has a plan for me. I was talking earlier about the old people. Sometimes, we, people who are, let me say, people who are advanced in age like myself. You, when you are this age and you're still existing, you better thank God because God is not finished with you yet. And for the young people, God is, is just starting with you. So waiting, give God thanks for the very fact that he has given you. And the last thing to do while you are waiting is the timing. Timing. Timing on, of God. If you wait and God's time comes, 
then you and you you move in God timings, then your victory will be complete. King David, when he was anointed king, he was still a boy. He's a shepherd. He was already told he was a king, but he was still taking care of flocks. He became a musician, became a arm bearer, and then eventually became a commander. It took him a while before he became king. But eventually, when the God time come to become king, that's why all the time we look to David as the greatest king of David. If you look in the book of Judges, every king that doesn't do well, they will say he didn't do according to David. Any king that did well, they will say he did well according to David. Why? David knew the time. David has an opportunity to kill Saul many times in the cave and he had more than one chance to do it and he said, no, I'm not going to touch him. I'm not going to touch the anointed God because he know he cannot take the matter into his own hand. And this is very important lesson for us. When you are waiting, don't take matter to your own hand like Hagar did with Abraham. While you are waiting, you'll be tempted to take matters into your own hand. While somebody doing something bad to you, you'll be tempted to pay back. But if you wait on the Lord, God will fight your bottle. And when God fight your bottle, God fight it very well. And God give you a complete victory. And David now learning all these things and he wrote this psalm and he say, wait on the Lord. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Why he's saying that? Because in that period of waiting, we can be discouraged. We can lose folk. We can, lose, we can become fearful. What is going to happen? This thing didn't happen now. He said, no, be courageous while you are waiting. Yes, and he said yes. Repeated it. Emphasis. Wait patiently for the Lord. This is a secret. You may be doing it. You've been waiting for the place of pressure. But now, when you, next time, you are praying for victory. I want you to have that conscience in mind. That you wait. While you're waiting, you exercise those things. You worship while you're waiting. You give thanks for the thing that you have already had. You give praise to God because you know he's going to give you the victory. And then you wait for God's timing, not your opportunity to advance yourself or to do or to pay somebody back or to, to make a shortcut. Wait for God. And when you do that, your victory will be complete. Your victory will be all around about as we pray. And I pray that God will give us the grace and the patience as we go on from now. Ah, that God give me that grace to wait for you patiently and wait for your timing. And God surely will give us his victory. He is not a man that he should lie. And that's our God for you. Let's stand up and pray. Lord, we want to thank you for a time like this to come together so that we learn at your feet in a day like this things that we will take into our own lives, into our own practical life. So that, Lord, while we exercise these spiritual exercises, Lord, we, that our victory will be sure and our victory will be complete. Thank you for the program that I have done. Thank you for the prayers that have come. Thank you for the prayers that are coming ahead and the rest of the program. We commit everybody that has come, commit everybody that is going to still to come. Lord, none of us that has come here, Lord, will go out in vain. There will be a difference. There will be a distinction from today, from who we are yesterday. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus. Let me invite my pastor this time. Praise the Lord.
Somebody say, I will wait on God. Amen. How many minutes do I have? Praise the Lord. Tap somebody beside you. Say, look at me very well. You are not saying it. You don't mean it. Say, look at me very well. Whether you like it or not. My God will surprise me. Oh, that person did not believe you. Just turn around and look at somebody behind you. Say, Hear me and hear me well. Uh, I, the, we, the power of God is here. The presence of Yahweh is here. And everything we are going to decree, or we have been decreeing up till now, will be established in the name of Jesus. There is nothing devil can do about our prayers. Your prayer will receive divine answer in the name of Jesus. Turn to the person behind you. Say, hear me very well. Whether you like it or not, God will bless me more than you. <laughs> Amen. I want to thank God for our lives. And I want to bless God for my father in the Lord, Pastor Fela Keshiro, for you know, putting this kind of a program together. It's a wonderful program. And I know, I am certain, that we will never pray in vain. Oh, I will not pray in vain. Amen is like a stamp to our prayer. So when you say amen, you are saying, this is, there is nothing anybody can do about it. This is, I'm getting this. So our prayer will be answered in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to bless God for as many ministers in the house. Our papa here, thank you, daddy, for staying with uh, our father in the law. Pastor Lua, thank you so much. Our mamas in the house, thank you so much. Devil is in trouble. Amen. <laughs> thank you for that wonderful session. Sister Catherine, where are you? Thank you for that powerful section. More grace, more anointing. In the name of Jesus. I want us do this. We want to go and pray. And we are still going to continue in prayer till tomorrow. But one thing I am certain about is the Lord Almighty is here. And he's not just here for nothing. He's here because of you, because of me. And that is why I didn't tell our father that I will be coming early. I said, ah, me too, my life need prayer. Some pastors are both prayers. You know, they believe, uh, why will I come there and some people will be leading prayer, I'll be praying. I didn't know he would give me a program. I didn't tell him because I know if I told him he would give me, but it eventually happened. So it's, he gave me prayer in the night and I prepared for that. But this one, I know there is a reason for that. The Lord wants to bless us more. He has been blessing us, wants to bless us more and he will still bless us in the day of Jesus. My blessing during this program, shall be big and bigger and bigger than your blessing in the name of Jesus. My blessing will be horrible. <laughs> Say my blessing will be horrible. Ah, uh, they thought you were joking. Say my blessing will be horrible. Uh -huh. oh, sorry, that, that. Oh, sorry. Amen. Let's open to the book of Matthew quickly. I want to charge somebody. I want to encourage someone Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. Amen. Matthew eleven twelve. 12. If you are there, say, I am there. If you are still looking for it, say, Pastor, wait for me. Matthew is a popular verse. Matthew eleven twelve. 12. Say, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. And the violent take it. See, hear this, hear, hear this man. 
Don't be tired. It's just a day. We have people on the mountain waiting on God seven days, three days, nine days. Amen. Only water. Praise the Lord. Was it one year or two years? I can't remember. I think one or two years. No, more than that. Some of us, uh, we have surrendered everything to be here. Some of us call in sick to be in this program. Some of us put everything aside. Not because we don't have something to do, but we put them on hold just to come and have an encounter with the Lord. So I want us to know why we are here. And I want us to use it where I always get upset when people come to a place of prayer and they don't take it seriously. I said, it's like losing in two ways. You, you, you have put something aside. You, you can't do them now because you are here. And you are here. You are not doing what we are here for. Then that person is losing in two, in two ways. I pray we will not lose in the name of Jesus. I say we will not lose in any way in the name of Jesus. So anytime we are in a place of prayer, let's take it. I want your money to do you share a man shaming. Meaning when you get to work, you work. Amen. So when we get to a place of work, I like it when people take it seriously. You can't see me in the place of prayer. I am joking. Uh, being distracted. I hate it. Amen. Because devil is not powerful. Sir, devil is not powerful. He's just corny. And one of his strategies, do not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. One of his devices is it will distract you. It will do everything not for you to have that encounter. Not because he's strong to stop your encounter. Not because he's powerful to to cage your encounter or to collect your encounter, but it will prevent you, it will divide your attention so that you will not have that. He knows when you have that encounter, that is it. You are, you are free forever. So please, let's take it seriously. Say, from the days of John the Baptist, some people will jump that next place. Say, the kingdom of, of, of God suffered violence. No. From the day of John the Baptist, until what? Now. Until now. Please don't miss that place. Until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. Who are the violent? I told them in Brano, if we get to where we pray in Brano, <laughs> amen. You will think they start a machine, a, a machine gun or something. Amen. Because you, you will hear people pray. And I know, I thank God for our Father in the Lord here, we tap the fire from here. So, and I know God Almighty will surprise us today in the name of Jesus. Who are the violent? The violent are those that will not take no for an answer. Who are the violent? The violent are those that believe that the second name for this world is wickedness. That book of 1 John 5, 19. 1 John 5, 19 says, We are of God. Me, I am of God. But the old world, what happened to them? Lies in wickedness. So, if you are looking for a name to call this world, this earth, it's wickedness. You touch them, they touch you. You don't touch them, they touch you. You sit down quietly, they look for your trouble. You look for your, their trouble, they look for your trouble. It doesn't matter what you do. You are, you are, uh, I'm, I'm just on my own. No? And that is why I don't pray for that and die. That is why I don't pray witchcraft. Because when you pray about witchcraft, witchcraft come and torture you, come and trouble you. Whether you pray about witchcraft or not, they will come. Amen. So it's better you guard yourself. It's better you always prepare against them because they are in existence. Praise the Lord. I was showing on the last time here. In, your, in Canada, lock the whole house. He doesn't open his door. And inside the room, there is a living room. Inside, I know some of us, how many of us saw that uh, bird? Inside the room, not city room now. <laughs> but in the room, in the night, and not just ordinary night, around 1 or 2 a.m., if I still remember the time, or 3. But, you think that one is coincidence? 
Some people, some of those uh, educated ones, you know me, I don't go to school. Yeah, it just maybe you open the door and, and okay, if bat comes in, do you know bat doesn't, they don't fly in the day. So how come, how did bat enter after they've shut the door? Every time, he didn't see it before he went to bed. Amen. There is wickedness everywhere. Wickedness. I was watching a program. Are you with me? I was watching a program. Because when we say some things happen, some of us don't believe. I pray you won't be a victim before you realize it. That is why they say prevention is better than cure. Pray even if you don't believe. Just pray. Prayer is never wasted. Prayer is like a seed. Prayer is like when you bank your money. You may not need it, need it now, but the day the needs, when you will require the needs, the prayer show up because you are bank it. But when you don't bank it, nothing will show. It's just like when you don't have money anywhere saved and you have a need that you need to take care of with money, then there is nowhere to find the money unless you go and borrow. And you can't borrow prayer. And that is why some people will now be running, looking for a miracle. Looking for a pastor that will do uh, sharp, 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 sharp. And when, <laughs> when they pray and nothing happens, they want God. They want to force the hand of God. Who are you to force the hand of God? We can pray. If he answer now, to God be the glory. If he doesn't answer, you can't beat him. You can't sue him to court. You can't challenge him. You can't kill him. If you talk too much, he might even add to the problem. He will not kill you. Amen. So that is why we need to pray. And <laughs> this sister was having an issue. This, the best friend is the one in charge. And this sister, the best friend, was taking her to all churches around. I was, this program was just two, three days ago. Taking her to a prophet. A prophet. I pray, may our spiritual eyes open. Amen. But thank God for the spirit of God. The Bible says nothing hidden that will not be revealed. Your battle, your challenge will not be, will not be hidden. In the name of Jesus. God will expose the wickedness. In the name of Jesus. So pray. You don't know who is who. You don't know who is who. I watched another program yesterday. A maid has been working with them for 11 years. The woman gave birth, first one, the baby died. Second one, the baby died. Till 51. And they didn't know anything that was going on. Not knowing it was the maid killing the children. Living with them, taking care of that child. This happened in Nigeria though. Amen. And they will never will believe that. They, will never, they can't suspect her. She's the one killing. We live in a wicked world. We live in a world we have mother can do anything against their children for any reason. For money, for power, for position. They can do anything. Not even this era that young folks are using their siblings, parents, for ritual. They want to have money. They are in haste. They are in hurry. They can't wait. They just want to use Bentley. They want to use Bugatti. They want to fill among. They can't pass through the process. Forgetting that life is a process. If you jump any process, you are still coming back. You will come back. Praise the Lord. So, you have to be violent throughout this meeting. Any prayer point. Even with this small boy that comes here to lead prayer. Be violent. Take it as if that is your last hope. That is your last option. Who are the violent? The violent are the one that knows that there is still God in heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you have to be, to be, to be really to take the, the, the meeting seriously. Know for sure that God still answer prayer. And to as many that knows and believe and we say amen. God will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. I'm just telling you why you need to be. Some people, they say, ah, must we shout before God answer? No. Even if you don't open your mouth, sometimes God answer. But can I tell you this? Not every prayers 
Not every prayer that when you are quiet, the prayer will be answered. Not every prayer is when you shout that God answer. Are you with me? So, but how do you differentiate them? How do you know this kind are the one I need to shout? Amen. When you pray and your whole system is connected, your whole system is working, there is no way, there is no way, there is no way that that prayer, even if you are, because sometimes in the place of prayer, your heart gets distracted. But when you take it seriously and you are praying, your whole body is involved. There is no way your heart will not return back home. David said, my heart, come back to your resting place. It will get to a time. Even if you are thinking about that trouble, thinking about your husband, thinking about that food at home, thinking about your child, it will get when you are praying and your whole body is moving. You are violent and you get engaged. There is no way that your heart will not. And one of the problems people's prayer are not answered is because they only pray with their mouth. The heart is wandered. The heart is not connected. And when your heart is not connected, then the result is not sure. So when you are praying, make sure your whole body is involved. Yes. When you start, you might a little bit be distracted. But quickly call back your spirit man back to where you are. So that your prayer can be answered. Amen. Who are the violent? They are those that are ready to stay with God. And say, God, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Who are the violent? They are the one that believe life is about power. First Corinthians 4.20. 1 Corinthians 4.20. Amen. Who is reading for me? Somebody read for me. First Corinthians 4 20. Anybody? Yes. First Corinthians 4 20. I want us to, I want to engage us. Yes. It's not in war, but in war, sir. That the mommy, if Bible says it, I believe it. For the kingdom of God is not in what? It's not just talk, 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 talk. It's not just talk, talk. It's not just complain, complain, complain. That is why you are still, some of us are still where we are. All, all we do is we complain. Instead of us to engage in the power. But we complain and nothing change. Because we are just complaining, we are just talking. But the Bible says the kingdom of God is not in war. But in the power, in the power. Only those that know this world require power. And that is why some people run to wrong places to get power. But we are in the right place. Every power on earth and in heaven has been given to God. So God is capable to molest and disgrace that problem in our life. See, let me tell you, the solution is with God. Because himself is a solution. And let me tell you this, solution is greater than the problem. I don't care when that problem has been in our life. I don't care the foundation of that problem. I don't care the cause of that problem. I don't care how long the problem has been, has been there in our life. But God is older than that problem. God is bigger than that problem. God is the solution to that problem. Somebody shout, God is the solution to my problem. So relax, you are in the right place. If you go to another place apart from God, uh, uh, if they give you anything, it's temporal. And they give you cap, they collect your head. They give you cap, they collect, they give you shoe, they collect the both legs. Only God, the blessing of God, are what? Aha. Eh, hey, hey, shame on me, daddy. It's only God is blessed that doesn't have sorrow, that doesn't have pain, that doesn't have regret. So you are in the right place. So when the time comes to pray, I'm telling you why you need to be violent. You are too quiet. You are too. It's because you are too gentle. That is why everything is not settled about you. If you are too gentle, you can't be settled in life. Amen. So you need to pray violently. 
and you will see that God Almighty will arise and will fight our battle. Amen. I said, God will fight our battle. I said, God will fight our battle. In the name of Jesus. Let's be on our feet as we go into some prayers. Let's be on our feet as we pray. And I want you to pray as if you are just starting. I know some of us have been praying. Some of us, our enemy is a little bit weak because we are fasting. Don't worry. God will strengthen you. God will strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Uh, do it. You can't die. You can't die. It's not possible. You can't be paralyzed. Are we ready to pray? Ata legedebo suprakasida. Jale masunate kabaru keli mosuntalia. Lift up your right hand and appreciate him. Say, Father, we bless you. Thank you for this hour. Thank you because this is my time. Thank you because your angels are here to assist me. Thank you because the hosts of heaven are here to help me. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate him. Jelato baradina kizalia. Maka paro salita. Zelato mashende keporia. I'm hearing two people praying. And I know we are more than two. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Say, Father, thank you for this time. Because my time has come. Thank you because you will attend to my case now. Thank you because you will attend to me now. Thank you because my case will be set to now. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Say, my father, my maker, as I pray now, oh Lord, send help from heaven. I'm getting us prepared. Those, those are not just prayer. If you know me, you know I like to do that. Get to prepare, lay foundation. Foundation matters. Because whatever you want to build on that foundation depends on the foundation. So, take it serious. Don't be tired now. I will, I will soon end up. Say, my father, my maker, as I begin to pray, send help from heaven. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You need help. You have been doing it alone. But the host of heaven will help us today. today. But the angels of God will help us now. Oh Lord, send help from heaven. Send help. Send help. Send help. Ada Barusha. Ela Kote Makati Mati Marudi. Ege Debo Suprakate. Zeze Barato Bashanda. Oh Lord, send help. Yes, yes, yes. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Send help, send help, send help, send help. I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. My, my strength is not enough. I need the supernatural help. I need help from above. Send help. This woman, you better ask for help. This man, you better ask for help. This is not the time to look around. This is the time to ask for the divine help. Oh Lord, help me. I have been doing it alone, but I need your help. 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 E barada bara bara bati. Ze marina katu barade. Jali mazuna kaparosha. Le kota barusi katata bashanda. Holy Ghost, help me now. Help me now. Help me now. Help me now, help me now. Help me now, help me now, help me now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is your first prayer. Please pray it like no man business. Don't look at who is washing you. Let them be looking and you are praying. That is how some will look when you are giving testimony. And they will clap for, for you. For what God has done in your life. Say, oh Lord, arise. I hear our fathers here praying. Say, oh Lord, arise and fight my battle now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. And me, I want to leave. Oh Lord, arise and fight my battle. Fight my battle. Yes. Yes. Some of us are waking up now. Yes. Oh Lord, arise and fight my battle. Jabara ta 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 ta. Leka paro shamanta balate, eleka po maru salita, 
Jamaru kete maku parato mashende kepoya. Adina maro sali kato barata. Era dimo kabaya limosa. Ela kate mozuna. Mashanda baru kete boza ligi. Eko paro shamanda. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The Lord is arising for your sake. Look at that, brother. The Lord is arising for you. The Lord is sending help because of you. The angels of God are coming now. Uh. They are on their way because of me, because of my family. Yes, 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 Emi mi mo wa mo fero wa le o ba koso haye mi o ask for his help. Jalata Holy Ghost, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Help me! 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 Hey! 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 Hey, 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 Aha, aha, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we pray. Somebody is here with us, and lately you have been you, your dream has been okay, your dream life has been okay. But lately, I'm talking of recently, and that is, that has been some of your concern. You have been having a, a battle dream anytime you sleep. You have been seeing yourself. Your dream is not okay. It's not what you like at all. You'll be fighting. Being, it's like war. But this just started not too long. Amen. And physically, you are seeing the reaction. You are seeing the impact of those dreams. You know things are not going okay since you started those dreams. When the time comes, I'll call you forward. The power of God will set you free. Amen. Say, my father, my father. Ah, uh, oh my show. The violent are those sir, that are ready to engage in fight. Not those that are running away from battle. Not those that are that are dodging battle. Not those that are being defensive, but those that are being offensive. Those that can confront the battle. Those that can fight the enemy. Not those that will leave it for only pastor to be doing to be doing. No, you don't leave your battle for pastor. Pastor, we, we, too, we have our own challenge. Amen. Stand very well. Amen. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Any power. Say, any power. That be fighting my life. Up till now. As I pray. Expire. We are so prayer. Lomba o jaja, lomba o jagu titi doni. Ile moba o, ile moba bara ye, ile moba bara ye. Allahu ba balala de. I have the power, fighting my life, fighting my destiny. Up till now, I command you expire, expire, expire. Uh -huh. I see few people that are ready to be set free. Zabaya, I mean, uh, that is enough for me. Hey, 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 Aspire, 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 aspire. Aspire, 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 aspire. Uh -huh. I, I, I see a woman at the back there. Yes. Ella kata tata tata Zalimo Shamanta. Yeah, this is your day. This is your day. Woman, continue praying that way. Continue praying. Today is your day, ma. Hey, hey, hey. Your day has come. Atalia. 
e barate moto malita zama shanda bakuze kete baruke de bosuntalia e rusha mantalina e radima kute kete mozaliga bosa e roma shanda balia e marusha ganda masuntalia eh 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 yes yes jesu oluwa Daddy, any corner, Lala, we won't buy a mall. When the time comes, I'll call you. Up. Make sure you know yourself. I'm doing. I'm saying it together because I don't want people to know who is who. If not, I'll call you one by one. So when the time comes, I'll bring you out. You had a dream that they collected one of your children. It's like somebody took one of your children away. If I don't pray for you, I pray that dream will not come to pass. Amen. Ah, limo sanina kabaya ko zeliati, maya ko barandi, mude ni kon ulo kon umi, mayanta ila ko zali ina kadia, so maru shakate marande ina kadia, malato marandi, kali mo salita, rene mo shamanga, ina ko zeliga, baro selita kaboria, I saw you, you went to fetch water, this is a recent dream. We went to fresh water and you don't understand we brought it home you don't understand i need to pray with you i need to lay my hands on you so that what god is about to do can manifest stand very well when the time come all of you that have been i mentioned your case you come forward say my father my maker uh, I hear, oh, see, sincerely speaking, only daddies, the pastors, they are, they are the one I'm hearing. Maybe because I'm in front of them. Let me come here. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, any power frustrating the work of my hand, frustrating my life, frustrating my children, frustrating my home. It's like mama, my daughter, mama, I'm by. Um, I will stay with my man here. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Well, the Lord will frustrate them. Amen. Amen. You are hard working. But the more you work, the more they frustrate you. You work, you don't know what you are. You are that person. You work, you don't know what you do with the money. You save, but something will arise and eat up the money. This person you save intentionally save for project but after a while something will come up and eat up the money the lion of judah is about to eat up the power amen, amen. i am in the presence of yahweh the god of our father we arise and eat up the power you will know you have come to a place of prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, any power from anywhere that be frustrating my life, frustrating the works of my hand, frustrating my health, frustrating my children, frustrating my destiny, frustrating my family, as I pray, say, as I pray, be frustrated. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Any power for sweating my life. Any power for sweating the work of my heart. Any power for sweating my children. Watch out for sweat their life. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost
Okay, if I've said anything about you, can you come forward? I want to pray with you. If I've mentioned one thing or the other, can you come forward? Ala da 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 bashanda. Higadopi. Ogu sita. Olu bala. Jago mulu. Eh. Ori ayo. La o mako. Ale. One more time, if you know that song. Ija dopi, ogu sita, eh, olu bala, jago bolu, eh, ori ayo, la o mako, ale lu. God of heaven and the earth. God that sees the secret of men. You that rule in the affairs of men. You that have all the power in your hands. You that will say a thing and it will be established. You that never lie. You that don't change your mind because you are not human. You that is a supernatural. Ma kata baru salita. Le kapo maro shalate muzuna kaporia. Le mazuna koparate. You that person, you saw a barrier procession. Saw a barrier. Not, I'm talking a few days ago. Today, I'm praying for you first. I decree by the decree of heaven. The evil barrier that the enemy prepared because of you. Today, if the Lord have shown me this, if truly God is on this mountain, I invoke the angel that walked with our father on this mountain. I invoke the angel that walked with me. And I command, whosoever preparing emergency barrier for you, I command this angel to locate that evil person. Let this angel carry them and put them in the grave. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that wants you dead, that wants your child dead, that wants your spouse dead, if you say a louder amen, I pull out the spirit in them. The spirit that make them human. The breath in them. Balako Salita. I put that spirit out. And I bury that spirit. In the name of Jesus. That in the name of Jesus. The blessing God have in store for you. Le mazunate kato barusa la kata barusa. In Akadia, I pray that blessing will not elude you. You will drink out of that water. And your soul will be satisfied. In the name of Jesus. Ah, I decree by the decree of heaven. That power that wants to change the destiny of that child. You that demon. I confront you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I command that demon that have been sent to attack that child in the name of Jesus. Let this demon be sent back to hell. Let this demon come out of that child. That child be free. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus. Aladabashanda in Akadia Moradusa Kelebo Suprakashende Kepo Agbarati to Kabo Senkojo. That power that scatter as you try all your effort. You are hard working, you gather your money to use for something good. But the power comes and scatter it and eat your money up. Bible says he has swallowed up riches, but he will vomit them again. Say God will bring them out of his belly. I decree by the decree of heaven, every power. 
power heating up your money, eating up your riches, eating up your virtue. If you set the rip fireful amen in the name of Jesus, the power down. Ah, Kala Masina. I better I be a dying to you. When that power woman be that want to take your home from you, that is dragging your home with you, whether they are human or they are spirit, I decree by the decree of heaven in the name of Jesus, that power, that person die in the name of Jesus. They go down, 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 they go down. in the name of Jesus. No man will take your home from you. No woman will take your home from you. No power will destroy your home. Your home is secure. In the name of Jesus. Ah, I see you celebrating. This, no, 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 no. This purpose is here. You saw yourself celebrating, doing something. And you were happy. You, are, you dressed very fine. This is the counsel of the law. Who is that person? Kalimo Supra. You saw yourself in a dream not too long. You were celebrating. You, you, you wear nice, nice clothes. And you, you, you find yourself in a dream as you are doing something. Celebration. Where is that person? I decree. Come and shake me. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I hope you are not trying to help pastor. You saw the dream. I decree by the decree of heaven that celebration will come in the name of Jesus. Very soon you will celebrate. I call forth that celebration. Even though it seems as if it's not, but today by the power of the Holy Ghost, may you celebrate physically. May people gather to celebrate with you. May these people saying amen gather to celebrate with you. May they hear about your testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Wave your hands to the Lord. Say, Father, thank I pray for everybody. Did I miss any word of knowledge? No, I know I've touched everything. Uh, amen. I will just shake us and we go there. I will share the grace. We will go and wait and seek the face of the Lord. That battle is settled. It is settled. Settled. Ya 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 ba shende ke bos wan ya de maruda gadia gadia mazuna kapuri ya masira ena ya kosa ni ana ba kashira lenga boza ba olon olon nu nu ma da won won bere ten bere hallelujah emo mo bere ten bere hallelujah what has been a concern amen oni to the pain on show won ah oni ati se to go ma se I pray in the name of Jesus. Ah, you will remember to pray. You will pray before. Social. Last woman. Testimony. Testimony. It happens. Congratulations. It will happen. Whatever you have come out for, it will happen. It will happen.
Amen. Let's share the grace. And you will wait upon the Lord. You will seek the face of God by yourself. Anything you want to ask God and we did not touch. The spirit of God is here. The angels of God are here. Let's be on our feet as we share the grace. In, in CAC, we, um, we share the grace while standing. So let's be on our feet as we share the grace. The Lord bless you. Honor God so that God will honor you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Before you come back for the next section, you, you, that you are saying amen, you will already have testimony. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen.